Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan here. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm gonna give you tips and tricks for the DJI Spark to get cinematic footage. I know that they're the tiniest things in the world, but these are still packed with a lot of information um, Maybe even some that you can't find answers for Just give it a look through you're limited by a 2-axis gimbal. Everybody knows this 1080p camera you're not getting 4k, but if you're uploading it on Facebook or Instagram Not many people are gonna notice 4k you might if you are used to looking and watching things in 4K on a big screen TV, but a small, you know, iPhone or even a laptop computer, you might not really notice it that much. My recommendation is use tripod mode. And if you don't know what tripod mode is, if you've owned the Spark for a while now and you still don't know what it is, in your functions mode, which you can do on your controller, um, if you have it set up that way through the app, is you can go into tripod mode it limits the speed that you can do and it limits the uh, gimbal movement so it'll actually slow your gimbal down now if you're not using tripod mode you can go into the settings and you can actually set up the spark to go as fast or as slow as you want up to i think it's 12 miles an hour slow steady shots I mean, if you're trying to get something smooth, buttery, and cinematic, go slow. I mean, there's no other way around it. You're not gonna get any cinematic, buttery shots in sport mode, although, if you are flying in sport mode, you can get some very cool shots. And they might look cinematic, but you're also gonna get props in your camera view. I don't know if you've noticed this, if you've ever flown in sport mode. Another tip, Practice orbiting manually. If you're not practicing this and you're still not getting those shots that you want, this is a great tool that's gonna help you in the long run. You're gonna get better footage, you're gonna get better shots. So left stick, what I've noticed is about a 10% grade. And then a right stick is probably about a 50 to 70%, depending on how fast you're going. you're doing it yourself. I mean, you're not relying on a software to do the orbit for you, you're manually doing that. And that is gonna add a level of confidence when you're flying something as tiny as the Spark or as big as the Phantom 4 Pro. If you can learn how to orbit without using software, it's gonna add that much more to your level of confidence in drone flying. Now let's talk about jerky movements. Um, because nine times out of 10, what the camera is gonna do and what you're gonna see in the footage is you're going this way and then you're trying to compensate for that object, or that person moving. And that is gonna lead, especially for the spark, is gonna lead into very amateur footage. I mean, let's be honest. If you're doing cinematic shots, Use something as a point of interest and fly past it. I mean, that right there is going to give your footage a more in-depth and more, in fact, cinematic look. It's a 
1080p, two axis gimbal. Let the camera work for you. Let things move in front of the camera. Let your camera basically work for you. Don't work for the camera shot. Uh, I bought a three pack of ND filters from Amazon. I know it's Amazon, but they were 24 bucks for this three pack. You get a polarizer, you get an ND8, and an ND16. Now, depending on the type of day and the time of day you're shooting, they also have a filter guide, which I believe is an app you can download, and you can actually put in without the filter on, you'll have to manually put in your ISO. Um, it'll give you your shutter speed, and then it will calculate what ND filter that you need to use at that time of day. Uh, I personally, I use this trying to get golden hour, magic hour, sunset times. Um, so normally, I mean, you're using an ND8, but if you're filming in bright sunny days, you might also want to pick up an ND32. Um, ND16s are probably for the 3 to 5 p.m. time. So your movements got to be smooth. Um, slow and steady shots, practice orbiting manually, no jerky movements. Um, if you can afford them, get a pair of Pro, uh, Polar Pro filters. Let the camera work for you and try to get some excellent lighting. Um, golden hour, magic hour. So thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you think I'm cool enough, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. If you have any comments or anything that you'd like to see in the next video, please link them down in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.